Hey guys, it's Kate and Georgia from wildtalesof.com where we share about family, travel, and outdoor adventure. So we're doing a lot more activities inside because of the quarantine, but things are starting to look up and to be lifted so we can do more and more um, outdoor activities. We have another fun nature activity that came from Georgia's forest school teachers. While they are not going to forest school um, in person, they are coming by for visits and bringing supplies to do projects at home and also sending us videos. So we wanted to share this project with you guys. Georgia's forest school got the idea from a blog called Woodlark. So if you wanted to look up Woodlark, blog.com. It's a great blog that has many nature inspired nature themed activities for both kids and adults. So that is where we got the snail pattern that her teacher nicely cut out for her. So we are making a mosaic snail out of the cardboard pattern and some school glue and some what? What's in my hand? Beans! Some dried beans. So join us. If you want more information on the snail template and just the project in general, make sure to visit the woodlarkblog.com and I'll link that site below. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Okay, so Georgia's teachers provided us with a bag of beans and it looks like it's from a, just a bean mixture like that you would buy in a bag at the grocery store. And what we've done is sort out the larger beans between the smaller like lentils and pea, split peas. So what we decided was that Georgia was going to just start a border around the part where the snail shell would be. Okay, so we're going to start by adding some glue to the edges. Yep, there one. Okay. And now you go ahead and add your beans. So Georgia's found kind of a big, I think it's a lima bean, looks like the shape of a lima bean that she wants to put right in the middle because there's just one of them. So she's ready to do her second round and she, there are some of the bigger ones left but mostly now this is kind of the next size. So that's this, what she's going to focus on. lima bean in the middle and see how much more room you have before we go we put any more beans in there yeah. okay, so now here's what our snails looking like <laughs> yep I think we have the idea we'll just see how it goes we've never done this before um, I'm gonna put some glue we're gonna put glue in the middle on the parts that are bare and then George is going to sprinkle and that's how we'll add the last bit. We're just covering that space carefully with glue, trying to spread it out nicely. Luckily, it looks like it's drying. Um, and the other spot's pretty clear, so we can be, so it's, it's pretty forgiving if you're a little messy. Okay, go for it. So, Georgia's added all of the beans and covered the space for her mosaic. Now what should we add to the snail? What's missing? Tentacles. Tentacles. What could we use for tentacles? Hmm. These beans. I don't think so. What should we use? What are tentacles like? They come and they're... <laughs> so what could you use from nature? A stick. A stick. Should you go find a stick? Go find a stick. Oh, that's a good idea. Anything in the window well? Hmm. Not really. Nope. Maybe by the kiwi tree. Yeah. You want to check by the kiwi tree? Being careful when you're walking. We have some patches that we're trying to regrow grass in. That... I see. Oh, this is good. We could use that and we could make, break it into two, right? Well, we can even them out. Do you think those will work? 
sunflower. Oh, and here's a sunflower. And let's do. Here's another one. They're trying. Here's another one. This one looks really good, right? Let's hold those sticks up to the uh, the snail. Oh, those are a little big, huh? <laughs> those are gonna be perfect. Okay, let's go. Round two. Round two. Let's see if there. All right, I put a little glue on top. You want to place them there, Georgia? It really looks like the head. There we go. Yeah. Those were the perfect sticks that you found in the backyard, Georgia. Here's our finished snail mosaic. Thanks so much for hanging out with us while we learned how to make a snail mosaic. If you try this project, make sure to let us know. And a big thank you to Georgia's school and the Woodlark blog for the idea. I also wanted to add that Georgia's teacher suggested to possibly add um, a hole and then some string and you can use that as a decoration. Or they also suggested finding a stick, a larger stick, kind of sturdy stick, um, that could be used as a snail wand. That's and, what I want to do. Yes, that is what Georgia is interested in doing. So if we, if we are able to do that after this drive, we'll add a little clip of Georgia playing with her snail wand if we get to it. We hope you're doing well. We hope you're staying safe and healthy. And we hope that you are able to get out or in to have some brave, wild adventures. <music>